Amanda, what's up? I hope you all are having an amazing day today. I'm so excited to be filming in Toronto again. It feels like it's been so long. If you've been keeping up with all of my videos, you've seen my London vlogs. I think I had five London videos go up and then the Florida vlogs and then most recently Paris Fashion Week. But now we're all caught up. Anyways, I've been really craving a thrift trip, honestly. Some things that I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for are maxi skirts. Maxi skirts have been my favorite thing lately. If you watched my Paris vlog, I think every outfit was with a maxi skirt. Like truly, I just love them so much. So I'd love to find some maxi skirts. I'd also love to find some cute blazers. I've been loving doing a little bubble skirt with a blazer. And then jackets. I'm gonna be wearing this denier jacket today but I wore this so much when I was in Paris and also my friends wore it and I feel like seeing it on them gave me this new appreciation for this jacket and I would love to find more jackets. I'm definitely a jacket girl. Obviously everybody is, you have to wear a fucking jacket, but like I really love a jacket, so. Anyways, I wanna show you guys my outfit before we leave. This little shrug is originally from the children's place, which is so funny. I got it new with tags from Value Village. I'll link the thrift with me in the cards. At this point, this is my everyday tank top. It's from Aeropostale. I really need a new white tank top, but I've never been able to find a tank top as long and that has a built-in shelf bra. Like, it's just the perfect tank. And then I'm wearing this maxi skirt from Pick Vintage in Toronto. I love this skirt. It's so comfy. You'll see it full length in Value Village, but it's really long. As you can, okay, I'm just gonna stand on my chair for you even though I'm wearing my Uggs, like. It has quite the mermaid vibe to it. And then I'm obviously wearing my Uggs, like what else would I be wearing? And then I'm doing my Louis Vuitton, which honestly, for practical reasons, this just fits everything I need to bring, my camera, that's it. Um, I can put all of my finds in it to bring them home. Honestly, if I didn't show you my phone case, the OOTD would not be complete. If you haven't seen my come shopping with me video, you wouldn't have seen this beautiful phone case that I'm literally eternally grateful for. <laughs> I got it from Pacific Mall in Toronto. It's so perfect. It's silver. I almost feel bad for showing it because if I saw somebody with this case and I didn't own it, like I don't even know how I would act. So anyways, let's go thrifting. We are back with another Come Thrift With Me in Toronto. I'm so excited. It has been quite a while since I've been to my go-to value village. I am embarrassed to say that the first section I started in was the hoodies because it's the one thing I don't need, as you guys know. However, I have been looking for the perfect cropped hoodie to add into my wardrobe. I have never owned a cropped hoodie, like, <laughs> excuse me. At this point, I know whenever there's a raw edge on a hoodie sleeve, it's either Abercrombie or American Eagle. <laughs> okay, so this one was American Eagle. Definitely not my favorite. A quarter zip with a hood, like it's so weird. I did not add it to the cart. This obviously caught my eye because it's the brightest thing on the rack, but it's this Nike track jacket. I just know that those yellow zipper details used to be clear, which would be such a vibe on this chartreuse. I can appreciate how vibrant and cool the color is, but it's not something that will seamlessly integrate into my wardrobe. And given how many track jackets I have, I already knew I was not purchasing this. This honestly is so funny because I wanna say at least a year ago, if not a bit longer, I was asking myself, do I think that I will ever come across Aeropostale in the thrift store and be excited? <laughs> like, will that happen? No. And here we are. I feel like I'm not quite there. Abercrombie, 100%. I find myself wearing two Abercrombie garments at once sometimes. Aeropostale, we're kind of like slowly getting into. And then I found this Ferrari track jacket, which I was really excited about. The back is definitely what sold me. Also, the quality of this piece is so nice. You can just see how shiny and new the zipper is. Red is the color that I wear most, so I'm always keen to pick up more red pieces how could i not um this piece is a bit of a stretch i was thinking that i could wear it as a long tank top it's wilford freeze so the quality is really nice it's double lined super thick and i just thought it would be a really flattering tank top like longer tank top because literally every tank top i own is cropped that's why i added that to the cart but <laughs> as you guys can imagine it's way too fucking long i wanted to include these because i'm definitely looking for some rain boots i think i need silver hunter rain boots specifically but 
you know, I sifted through every single dress and this was the only one that I found. It's super cute. Imagine this with some cute tights, a kitten heel, some glasses. It's perfect. It's also just such a flattering silhouette. Unfortunately, it was way too small. It's so hard for me to tell with things on the rack sometimes. In the skirt section, I saw this American apparel circle skirt. I'm not quite there, but definitely can still appreciate it. <laughs> okay. And the main thing I'm looking for is maxi skirts. That is all I've wanted to wear recently. So I saw this black skirt. I honestly knew right away it was not going to be hitting the floor which is what I'm looking for, but I still added it to the cart just in case my eyes were deceiving me. And then I would style this gray skirt the same way that I imagined that dress, a cute tight, maybe even a pattern tight with a kitten heel. I'm not too crazy about ruffles, but this with a blazer, making it a bit more masculine would be really cute. I looked through all of the long sleeves, all of the t-shirts, didn't find anything crazy. I think one thing I'm really lacking in my wardrobe is cute baby tees. The only thing that stood out to me was this blue quarter sleeve top. I just thought it kind of had a vibe to it with the tag. It says U2 on brown with this light blue color. This sweater was just placed on a random rack and I saw it from across the aisle. And let me tell you, I ran to it. I've been manifesting finding one of these TNA sweaters. I never owned one when I was younger and I feel like I'm trying to reclaim that. So I added this to the cart so quickly. This is one of those pieces that I'm like, oh my God, somebody's gonna see it in my cart and try and take it from me, but no one cares. But yeah, I was really excited about that. These heels are so incredible. I've been into wedges for so long and I just love how bizarre this peachy color is. It's so awful, but it's amazing. And if they were in my size, I would have bought them. No questions asked. I feel like only recently I've really started to appreciate a good jacket. And when I saw this jacket, let me tell you, Casablanca cropped brown two-tone with this Sherpa, like it's so perfect. The details are so nice, the quality is amazing. Added it to the cart and it was only $10. Like this really makes me question what system Value Village is using to price their clothes because that is cheaper than a long sleeve top normally. This was a super classic red cardigan from Gap cute, nothing crazy, didn't need it. I've never seen denier clothing. I normally only find leather jackets, but this was a quarter sleeve cardigan and I'm just really not into the quarter sleeve thing. I also just feel like the v-neck was a bit too much for me, but I did love the thick band on the bottom. I have no idea what this brand is, Astro Boy, but this looked kind of cool. I don't know, it's just a trench. I don't like the circular closure for the belt at all. I don't know why I felt inclined to film it. I'm not that crazy about it, but. This was a piece that I honestly just pulled to film, but as I was filming it, I'm like, wait a second. This would be really cute over my little bubble skirt. Imagine a white bubble skirt with that denim jacket in the spring, perfect. I feel like American Eagle is the one brand that I can never tell how old an item is like did these shoes get released last year are they 10 years old like i don't know but i did not add them to the car i'm not into them i had to film this i walked by and then i walked right back because i just know that during the spring people are gonna pull out these jackets with the built-in hoodie and i'm honestly here for it like i kind of love it it's so funny to me i loved these flats these are perfect to me but unfortunately they were too small i honestly do have the worst luck with shoe sizing at the thrift this leather jacket caught my which is so rare. I feel like I never pick up black leather jackets at the thrift store. The brand is Leather Attic. I loved the silver on it and the little closure at the top was definitely a cute little feature. Okay, this is awful, obviously, but I have to say the idea of having a sweat blazer is everything to me. I think if the material was slightly better, the buttons were different, like this could be such a vibe. This blazer was definitely a moment by the brand Candy Couture, I had to share it, but the condition of it was not good. The leather was peeling. I decided I would check out the men's section. I don't always do this just because I spend so much time in the thrift filming that honestly my energy is usually depleted by the time I'm done all of the women's sections. And I honestly regret checking the men's section every time because I never find anything. And honestly, that might just be because I'm only half looking because I'm just done by this point. But sure enough, nothing was found. So I wheeled over to an area where I could try on all of my finds. The first thing I tried on was obviously the brown leather jacket. And I love the way it looks. It's perfect. The fit is amazing from the outside, but internally I'm like, no, it's way too tight. It's so small. It's restricting me. 
but honestly with this item i'm like amanda you need to calm down because whenever i try on specifically jackets i'm just convinced they never fit and i didn't record it obviously but like the way i was torquing my arms around i would never do that in this jacket so i thought i would take a leap of faith here and put it in the yes pile again love the way this tna sweater looks but this was too tight <laughs> okay because it's a bit of an itchy material so in order to wear it i would have to wear a long sleeve under it and without a long sleeve i was already feeling a little bit restricted in the sleeve area it's so cute honestly i just feel like i will come across another one of these right off the bat i loved how long this ferrari track jacket was so often things are very cropped on me even track jackets which is not the vibe i'm going for literally ever so the fact that it was long and it's this gorge red color i mean like i'm obviously getting it okay it's probably my 18th track jacket but i've realized i own so many because it's also all that i wear so thank you honestly this cropped hoodie is not cropped enough it's just giving too small for me in a way and also the quality you can almost tell it's just not thick enough so it's looking like h&m divided and that is not the vibe i want my dream cropped hoodie would also have a really thick band this denim jacket was way too small for me i could only do up the top button it was also missing a button in the middle and it just wasn't perfect again not quite long enough for the way that i would style it over a skirt i feel like it would just kind of look awkward this track jacket also a bit cropped like this is my least favorite way for a jacket to fit because it's loose and cropped like no no this is a cute item obviously but not something that i need the sleeves on this leather jacket were way too short and i feel like the collar was just a little bit off center but then i decided i would try actually doing it up because i forgot that the zipper could actually be used it's definitely cuter with the zipper done up but it's just not giving anything crazy so we did not purchase also i've never owned a black leather jacket so i feel like it's gonna be a really big moment when i find the perfect one i love this air post l sweater like it's so funny to me but i do not need it like i'm not opposed to buying new hoodies which is a little bit of a shock and i can't believe i even just said that but they do have to be perfect and it's not thick enough the quality's not there it's not abercrombie okay like i'm not buying it this dress obviously doesn't fit me it's so cute though if it did fit i would have 100 percent bought it and this gray dress is literally offensive the straps are too close together it's not flattering at all this maxi skirt was not long enough and then the other gray skirt was really high-waisted like <laughs> the way i'm embarrassed to wear high-waisted things and i'm not even gonna share it i decided i would pick up the ferrari jacket even though it was 18 dollars. like that's so crazy and then we have this leather casablanca jacket for 10 dollars next to it i don't understand so those are the two items that i decided to pick up everything else was left behind as i just mentioned this gray skirt was a high waisted af and i wheeled over to the cash and purchased my two garments okay we're back from the thrift i did carry all my finds home in my bag which is perfect I only bought two things. I feel the need to do a haul at the end of this, even when I bought things, because I have a lot to talk about. Like, who would have thought? But I found so many cute things, and honestly, things that I would have bought. Like, for example, TNA sweater. I've always been very particular about the pieces that I pick up, but now more than ever, I'm like, I'm really just playing myself if I buy something that I'm not gonna wear, even if it's cute. If I'm not gonna wear it, if it doesn't fit right, why am I gonna buy it, you know? so when thrifting i know it's so hard because everything's i would say cheap but my village isn't even cheap anymore so it's just so accessible to over consume at thrift store which i get it like it's really hard you also are never going to find that item again so you just want to own it and i think for me filming actually helps me kind of be at peace with not getting items because i have it filmed and i've shared it with you and like i can appreciate it without owning it with that being said i did buy this casablanca jacket that's like really cute but doesn't fit me a hundred percent and the thing is i find it really difficult sometimes with size because i'm insane in the store i'm like doing fucking gymnastics like oh, it doesn't fit but then when i'm actually wearing it it's like totally fine so with this piece i really was like Amanda, i think you're doing a little bit too much in the store and you just need to bring it home how could i not like it's so funny because i really really dislike cropped things i only like crop jackets i love a long top under a crop jacket I think it's so cute and 
this is just perfect the color excuse me <laughs> but yeah i don't know i'm really into the crop jackets i feel like i've come across so many at value village and none of them fit me so i was like that's it I'm buying a crop jacket this would even be cute if it was long i just love the two-tone brown and then i almost feel embarrassed for myself showing the next pickup because it's a track jacket but at the same time i've definitely come to realize that the reason i have so many of them is because it's really all i wear like especially when i'm leaving the house to work or like basically go do anything because i'm always cold and i need some sort of jacket i don't know how people do it without like a cover-up like i'm genuinely just cold all the time this one is ferrari branded I'm saying branded because I'm like, is it real? Like, the back's really cute. I love that. And the main reason I decided to pick it up is because of how long it is. I do have one specific track jacket. I'll actually show it to you because I think I'm going to post it on Depop. I have this track jacket that's a similar vibe, red and white. I literally could just expose myself right now. But anyway, this one is too cropped, so I think I'm going to sell this on Depop. It's so cute. I love it. And the back is sparkly. It says England 7. But it's a bit cropped and it kind of digs in and it's not comfortable for me personally but also my torso is so long so this would not be cropped on an average size torso i just really love the back i think it's really cute so that's my haul only two things but i hope you guys enjoyed this come thrift with me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video